Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on osteosarcoma. Osteosarcoma is the most common primary malignant bone tumor, also known as bone cancer. And there are two main age groups who are common to have osteosarcoma, where there is bimodal age distribution, affecting the first group, which is adolescent, around 10 to 14 years, and again in the seventh decade which is around 70 to 80 years old. Some of the common sites for osteosarcoma to occur are proximal and distal femur, proximal tibia, and humerus, where the majority of the long bone growth occurs. These are the common sites for osteosarcoma. The causes of this osteosarcoma can be divided into primary cause and secondary cause. Primary cause is arising de novo, Secondary cause is arising in abnormal bone. So these secondary osteosarcomas may be related to previous irradiation, Paget's disease, fibrous dysplasia, bone infarcts, or other causes such as chronic osteomyelitis can also cause this bone tumor. So what are the clinical features in osteosarcoma? The patient may present with worsening pain and swelling of the bone, night pain usually, and non-mechanical pain where there is pain at rest. There might be joint restriction and also fever. And the laboratory results may show elevated alkaline phosphatase and also lactate dehydrogenase. These are some of the features of osteosarcoma. For investigation, x-rays are generally diagnostic, which will show an ill-defined permeative bone-forming lesion, causing cortical destruction, periosteal reaction, and also expansion into the soft tissues. And there may be a Cotman's triangle where the new bone forms in response to periosteal elevation and also the characteristic sunburst appearance when the periosteum does not have enough time to lay down a new layer. And instead, the Sharpie's fibers will stretch the perpendicular to the periosteum. So I will show the pictures later on in the next slide. And other investigations are like MRI scan which can help to delineate the medullary and extra osseous extent of the tumour, and also CT chest if we are suspecting for pulmonary metastasis. So these are some of the X-ray findings. The characteristic features of a distal femoral osteosarcoma seen on plan X-rays. So in the first picture and second picture, those are X-ray pictures. There is elevation of the periosteum showing the Cotman's triangle and the soft tissue extension of the tumor results in bone formation within the surrounding soft tissues and also the appearance of sun rays speculations which is the sunburst appearance whereas the third picture shows an MRI scan and we can see the true extent of the tumor erupting from the bone and extending into the posterior soft tissues so for treatment of osteosarcoma the principal first-line chemotherapy agents used in osteosarcoma are doxorubicin, cisplatin, ifosulfamide, and also methotrexate. So this is, these are the drugs used for neoadjuvant chemotherapy for around 8 to 12 weeks. And then, after restaging to evaluate the response to the chemotherapy, provided the tumor is resectable and there are no skip lesions, surgery can be done where the white resection and limb reconstruction can be performed. So that's all for this video. Thank you.